Hey guys, it's been like around a week since I've done a video. I've been really busy. I just started a new schedule of some sort. Basically waking up at 6 in the morning, going to bed at around 11.30, 12 o'clock at night. Not a lot of time to do on videos and stuff, so I apologize for that. Um, today actually we're going to talk about progress. I've had a lot of time to think about my, you know, me doing YouTube and things like that. Basically progress, you know, is how you see it. For example, for me progress, you know, I looked at my YouTube today, I have, th I have 37 views. You know, a lot of people are like, that's nothing, that's, you know, you should be, you should quit, things like that. I mean, it's only been a week. 37 views, not a lot, but me not doing it, I would have zero views. Is that right? And the thing is, a lot of people look at progress as sort of a, uh, a one-time thing. You know, a lot of people, when they work out, their progress only hits when they reach their, their perfect body. But if you have to think about it, that is very discouraging because you're not going to get that perfect body in a week, two weeks, not even a month. You're gonna, it's going to take, you know, six months to a year. That's a long time to wait for progress. I believe that if you want to really set a goal and really believe that you can achieve a goal, progress should be broken into steps. For example, if you are trying to achieve that perfect body, maybe instead of thinking, oh, I should get a six pack, maybe you should be like, you know, this week I only did, could do five pull-ups. Maybe next week I'll be able to do 10, maybe I'll do 15. That's smaller, that's a smaller task that when you do accomplish it, you'll feel a lot better about yourself and your workouts and things in your life will be a lot better. For example, another example, you know, on my YouTube, I only have like four or five subscribers and they're actually all my like family, you know, like my family and friends and stuff. You know, that to me, you know, that's progress, you know, because if I wasn't doing this, I would have zero subscribers and zero videos and zero views. And I mean, I do have, I think, 18 views on like one video, which to me was, you know, I had I had three or four views in a video that I put up in like two minutes. To me, that that's amazing. To me, that's incredible. Um, so progress is really how you look at it, how you believe, how how you um, perceive that of sort of an accomplishment. Um, you know, a lot of famous people, rich, very wealthy people, never never. You know, maybe their goal was to make some sort of money, but their progress is really based on on how they did it. For example, um, I'm very interested in, in a lot of wealthier people. As, for example, Bill Gates, John D. Rockefeller. I was reading something about John D. Rockefeller. His only goal was to make $100,000. That was his goal. To him, that was progress, and he started from a clerk. You know, obviously making $100,000 is a lot of money at that time, but still. His goal wasn't to be one of the richest men to ever live. His goal was just to make $100,000, that's it. You know, obviously when he achieved that goal, the next $100,000 came easy. So that's what you really have to think about, is that, for example, you know, if I do hit 100 subscribers, maybe the next 100 will be easy. I gotta do the same thing to hit the next 100, and the next 100. Right now, you know, I'm only on five, so it's very difficult for me to understand, oh, you know, uh, how is this gonna work, and how am I ever gonna, you know, be any, YouTube famous, for example, or even get past like double in double digits of subscribers. You know, if if you put your videos everywhere, um, sponsor yourself, things like this. Yes, you will you will achieve what you need to do. So if you are thinking about starting YouTube, um, you definitely should. You know, why not? You know, what do you got to lose? So so what? Let's say in six months you you know let's say you hate it. You never know. It's better than not knowing. It's not like. You're paying to be on the internet. You're it's free. You can just do it and enjoy yourself. So, right now I'm late for work, actually. So I'm gonna leave you with that thought and tell me what you think. Um, tell me something that you feel like is your progress. Tell me something that you feel that you've achieved in a very short amount of time. So leave a comment down below. It's down here. Down here. Yeah. And uh, I believe the like button is this way. So you should totally like it share it, put on Facebook, uh, put it on MySpace, my yearbook, uh, tell your aunt, your mom, your dad, everybody you know about about this channel, let them subscribe, tell your, you know, if you're 40 years old, tell your kids, whatever, you know. So, uh, again, like I said before, in the comment below, tell me what you think about your, you know, a small accomplishment you've had that has helped you, you know, achieve more and uh, give me some suggestions for maybe next week's video I haven't decided when I'm gonna make the next one maybe tomorrow uh, we'll do tomorrow we'll do tomorrow so give me some suggestions on tomorrow's video and see you guys then Look, it's a cat. Look, it's a cat. This is 
chilling out, fucking eating, eating delicious food. Hi, Mr. Kitty. I see cats all the time here, it's great. Oh, you're a really mad cat. Look how mad he is. Oh, I'm Mr. Cat, I'm fucking gonna eat your face. Look at your kitty. Hi, Mr. Kitty. Oh, my God.